Hey Royals, welcome, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a week of TikTok vlog styles. So let's get into it. The first video I found, it was one of the first results on TikTok when I typed in lock styles. So a lot of the styles are geared towards traditional lock styles, like a larger size of locks, but I did find a micro lock style. I will put the video up on the screen so you can see what I'm looking at. So let's watch the video and maybe we could do it together. I'm not the best at styling to be honest. I can't even cornrow, but hopefully this is simple enough. So she leaves out some front pieces. Like this. And then it kind of goes down the sides of her face. So I'm just gonna get that out of the way. And then she parts her hair down the middle. Wait a minute, she grabs all of her hair. Okay, so I have a lot of hair. I have pretty thick hair. I have thick hair. Her hair doesn't look as dense as mine, but maybe I'm, I should use similar ones to what she used. These are clear though. And then I have these ones, but they, they're harder to stretch. We're gonna see. So let me turn around so you can see. So I parted down the middle, it's probably not perfect. And then she grabs one side and pulls it up. If this is cute, I'm gonna wear it out today because I'm going to the movies with my sister to watch the new Miyazaki film, Boy and the Heron. Okay, so she, she doesn't show how she gets it like all messy, but, <laughs> oh man. I think this elastic is not the right choice. How does she get it all messy? Does she fold it? Girl, you cut out the main part. <laughs> okay. That doesn't look right. Maybe if I just wrap a piece of it around. Let's try the other side. Does this look weird or normal? Maybe this side has needs to have more in it. Okay, this shouldn't be out. I have this little baby one that just never stays in. I have the buns, the really messy buns in. In the video, she doesn't show exactly how she creates the bun. It just cuts to after the buns are in, but I think you just kind of have to wing it. And then she has the front pieces out. Wait, is this cute? Wait a second. Let me fix this piece. No way, is this actually cute? This is cute. These are a bit uneven, but I think that's because I just have more hair out on this side. Maybe if this is tucked up. I think it's cute. I'm not wearing my glasses though, so. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. So this is uh, day one of trying lock styles. I think it looks pretty close to hers. Obviously my hair is I think a bit shorter and my hair is thicker than hers. So it's a bit harder to get my hair into the messy buns, but this is cute. And she also did hers on straight locks and mine are straight as well. Okay, well this is day one and I will see you for day two. Okay, so we are back. We are doing day two. We're gonna be doing the rest of the days in this video. We'll just pretend that I'm doing these once a day. But in reality, we're doing it all today. So I did put braids in my hair yesterday. Um, so I did put some braids in my hair yesterday, just some chunky braids because the next TikToker that I found, her hair was pretty wavy and curly. So I have in about 14 braids, so I'm gonna take them out real quick and then we're gonna get into attempting these styles. As my locks get longer, it's so nice because I can actually put in chunky braids. I'm getting enough length so that I don't have to just put in small braids so this is a really quick option to get some curls in my hair without it taking forever to put them in and to take them out 
Okay, so the curls are out. This is what they're looking like. Really pretty. Nice and fluffy. So let's get into these styles. First style is pretty simple. It's just a half up, half down with some side pieces. I'm gonna use this. Take these out. That's pretty much it for the first style, right? I mean, it's just a half up, half down, but it's really high up on her head, so. Here it is, day two. Okay, the next style is kind of hard to see because it just goes by so fast, but basically she has some pieces out in the front and then she has two messy low buns. So I'm gonna split it, I'm splitting it down the middle. One side like this. I'm gonna just make it into a bun. And then the other side I'm gonna grab as well, make it into a bun. And then she has a bunch of pieces out of the back. I feel like with these types of styles, the messier it is, the better it looks. That is day number two or day number three. Okay, next style is gonna be a low bun. I'm hoping that my hair will go into a low bun. It's not that long right now, but we'll see. So she has two pieces out. So these are the kinds of styles that I love because they are so simple, but they look so cute, especially with curls in your hair. So I'm just gonna pull all of my hair to the back like that. And I'm gonna try and get all of this into a bun. As you can see, I have layers. So this happens, which is really annoying. I cannot wait for those layers to be grown out, but let's see, I might need to use bobby pins to form a bun. And then I might need to use like a bobby pin or two. That's next style for day number four. Yeah. Leave me out of comments, leave me out of nonsense, speaking out of context. People need some content. Just trying to keep up. It's not a contest. Whipping bits. Okay, so for this next style, she does like a, a row of bantu knots to the front of her hair. I think I'm gonna use the small elastics for this one. And then she does put conch shell, conch shells in her hair, but I don't have those, so. We're just gonna do the Bantu knots. Okay, this is the next style. It's kind of like a Bantu knot crown. I feel like a Bantu knot princess or queen. Busy that but you know how my job get barking up the wrong tree. You know how the dogs get haven't fallen off yet. Come with a classic, they come around. This one I thought was really cute. I'm really hoping that my hair is long enough to achieve this look. Okay, so as you can see, I have to do a middle, uh, not a middle part, I have to do a side part. So, what side should I do? I'm gonna do on this side. So I'm gonna move this hair over here. And then I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna leave some of these pieces out. Grab this part of my hair. 
and put it up into a half up. She does her half up pretty high on her head. So I'm gonna do that too. And then her hair is just kind of like falling over. I don't know if I pulled too much up on this side. I think I did. Does this look like the video? <laughs> My hair is obviously totally different than hers. Yeah, I mean, overall. Okay, so this is, I think, day six. The next style is pretty simple. This is going to be easy to do, I think. It's just two ponytails with some hair out in the back and then two pieces out in the front. So I'm going to get my two pieces out and then I'm going to grab most of my hair and she does it pretty loosely so I'm going to leave it loose as well. I'm only going to put it around once. This is so cute and this is right up my alley. I love simple cute styles like this. I could definitely see myself wearing this again. I think having my hair in a braid out makes this way better. It definitely wouldn't be as cute with straight locks in my opinion. And having the pieces out in the front are really what makes this better. Like imagine if it was just like this. It's not the same as having those pieces out in the front. So I love going to TikTok and just seeing all the creative things people do with their locks because sometimes it's hard to get ideas and to think of what to do with your hair and doing these styles is a lot more fun than just wearing your hair out a lot of the time and these are low tension lock styles so I fully support them. <laughs> As you can see, I'm ending the video out with this hairstyle because this was my favorite look of the whole video. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite look, which one would you actually wear in your locks. And thank you so much for watching, this was a lot of fun to film. So this is actually my last video of 2023. I'm going to be taking a bit of a break from uploading videos going into the new year, but I will be back. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm wishing you all a very happy new year, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.